can't imagine driving, uh, driving those sorts of cars at an age when, I mean, you were driving them before you could legally drive one on a road to be like yeah, racing so- a Porsche or something. This has been such yes. a sick like, situation to be in. I think I think I was so I, I was on the podium at Thruxton in Carrera Cup. I think I got a second at Thruxton, which was kind of my first, I suppose, pretty decent result mm. in something quite proper. On the Monday, I had a driving lesson, <laughs> so, so it was quite funny. And obviously, I knew how to drive, but that was like my first driving lesson at that point. Um, but like the uh, the driving instructor, I can't remember his name, but he was a really cool guy. And he was like, it just kind of let me do what I want. You know, it's quite fun, really. We just kind of drove around and chatted. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was, it was, it was funny. You know, I was, it was a unique kind of situation where, where I was kind of successfully racing cars and then wasn't able to drive on the road. But yeah, it's, it'll kind of move from there. But yeah, quite cool, actually. Did you have to learn to use your mirrors on the track and be like, oh, no, I actually, there's consequences to me not looking? Yeah, I think um, I think the biggest thing was just learning how to just deal with people coming the other way. I hadn't yeah. really yeah, yeah. kind of managed, managed that before. <laughs> um, yeah, it's quite weird, actually. But I passed first time, thankfully. Nice, nice. So it was always good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, so, it, it, you know, it's been a bit of a kind of, whirlwind initially i suppose in that sense 